complicated one actually and a lot of it comes down to what you define as 5G which is uh, itself a, a, it's almost like a philosophical debate as to whether it's driven by standards, whether it's uh, running on sort of multi-year um, plans as per the ITU and 3GPP, or whether you buy into say more the Verizon and some of the Korean visions, where actually fiber might be the last 100 meter, sorry, 5G might be the last 100 meter access from a fiber node. And so I think that um, actually uh, it's going to be a useful part of the fixed broadband firmament in the near future. Um, I, I know a lot of people talk about three use cases for 5G of um, you know, enhanced mobile broadband, critical IoT and massive IoT. In my view, there's a fourth, which is fixed broadband use cases, of, and, and, and not even last mile, but last tenth of a mile. Um, and I suspect it will probably occur first in the 28 gigahertz band in North America and Korea. Uh, and I suspect it won't go direct to the end device, but will be mediated with next-gen Wi-Fi in the middle. Um, I think that beyond that, we'll see it as um, a variation of mobile broadband, um, probably 2018, 19 time frame to, to kick off. And then the various IoT aspects to it, which I think are um, quite complicated in terms of both business model and technology. Um, so I, I, I think that there will be a, an interesting complex interdependency between 5G and fiber. Uh, it will vary depending on spectrum allocations in different countries and it will particularly be do, based on use cases. So you can imagine in a factory, um, robots which are standing in one place will probably still have a fiber connection for the last, last meter. Um, however, the, the, the drones will probably need to have some sort of of uh, managed spectrum wireless connectivity. Whether that is 5G or whether it's an enhanced version of Wi-Fi is unclear. And if it is 5G, I think one of the interesting possibilities is that it is private 5G. And I think that one of the things that is missing at the moment is a better way of doing shared access spectrum because I don't think that traditional mobile operators will be the ones to deliver all of the 5G services, um, uh, particularly in IoT domains. I think it is a metaphor for the future of our industry because its defining characteristics are going to be those characteristics of millisecond latency and gigabits per second per connection to uh, obviously wirelessly connected devices, which is how we live. There are wires going nearly all the way, but in the end, that last little bit is always wireless. So, so 5G is a metaphor for the future of our industry. And of course, 5G also, if it's also about providing experiences, uh, then, then it, it has all the pieces that go with that, which means IP and optical infrastructure, cloud infrastructure, hosting the control plane to give me massive scale for IoT. So it's not just about humans, it's about machines. And if I add all that in, then 5G is an end-to-end -end architecture. That's how I think about it. IP and optical infrastructure connecting edge clouds that run new applications and host the network itself. And then the, the wireless piece is the, is the piece at the end of the long wire that essentially provides a massive capacity. And that's, that's sort of the 5G architecture. And it does enable new applications by definition because there's no point in building if it doesn't. It's not a purely a mobile issue because uh, the requirements of the 5G are more broader than we had for the 4G or the 3G before. It's about speed, of course, bandwidth, but it's about energy, it's about operating model, it's about the verticals. So that's a very interesting you know, topic because we have people from automotive, people from industry coming in the 5G PPP for the first time before we were, you know, you know, in, within peers, it's not the case anymore. So, by the way, telco will stay telco, so we need to deliver that network. But, you know, we will be able to do much more with 5G that we did before with 3 or 4G. No, it's the first one. It is a metaphor. I think this will be uh, probably the wave of uh, um, convergence uh, around mobile edge. Uh, I think this will not be able uh, to happen without a software defined network. Uh, and therefore, yes, it does become a metaphor and it will be probably the uh, factor driving the change in, uh, in the way networks will be built and, uh, or accelerating uh, the, the build out of these networks, software defined networks.